What are you making of the ecosystem in crypto when you're looking at putting VC dollars to work? Because yes, we can all think of it as some sort of asset that we can track and, and bet upon and speculate. But what is the underlying building of infrastructure looking like right now? Ironically, it's the same building blocks for both. You know, who are the innovative technologists who are taking, you know, cutting edge foundational principles, whether it's in cryptography or whether it's in applied machine learning and taking that to solve a real problem for the end users. So both the B2B infrastructure on the crypto side and the B2B infrastructure on the AI side, we continue to see a lot of exciting innovation. Okay, well, let's talk about the practical innovations that are being built maybe here. You've just been to San Francisco. There's a lot of talk actually of how Cryptography can be an answer to compute and access to compute when we are thinking of large language models and, and machine learning. Is that something you're seeing being solved for at the moment in both places? Well, certainly. Actually, take our Lux portfolio company, Together AI. We actually led the seat in that company. They're based in San Francisco, but their chief scientist, Sri Dow, he's actually moving to New York to be an assistant professor at Princeton. I'd love to talk a little bit more about the New York theme there. But they are actually having decentralized compute in many ways versus using a centralized cloud provider in order to power that AI infrastructure stack. Uh, Grace, let's have a little bit of healthy competition between cities, shall we? Uh, this week, we, we published a documentary called Welcome to Cerebral Valley. And as you know, like right now, the lion's share of, of dollar or intellectual capital is here. But New York is growing, um, both on the personnel side and attracting more dollars. What is Lux Capital's attitude towards that? The AI demand is unprecedented, both in San Francisco and New York, and I think you're going to see continued growth in both cities, right? SF will continue to be a hub. New York is a really exciting and growing hub, both because of the demand we have here. 44 of Fortune 500 companies are headquartered right here in New York. There was a recent unicorn report where the number of unicorns in New York rose from three to 100 over the last 10 years. And you're seeing huge industries here, whether it's financial services or media. As it pertains to New York specifically, there's a great talent bed here. I just mentioned Tree Dow from Together. He actually is moving here to New York. We've also seen several other great AI labs, world-class right here in New York. NYU, Jan LeCun, he's the chief med uh, scientist at Meta. He's also here in New York, uh, and the Princeton and Columbia and Cornell labs are, are bustling. One of the surprising headlines that caught my eye in the last couple of days was Jamie Dimon, of all people, saying that mayors in Texas will phone him up and say, what can we do to get more business? But you know, officials in New York City, according to Jamie Dimon, are not as business friendly. What is your kind of boots on the ground experience of that from kind of a host city perspective? I've been seeing bustling innovation and I've been seeing a lot of people choosing to live in New York because they want to live here and going through whatever hoops they need to do to, to build an awesome company here. So whether that's getting great talent out of major tech companies, whether that's getting a lot of new grads, we saw a 6x increase in applicants according to a recent handshake report over the last five years wanting to move here. And we see a lot of international talent, right? Folks coming from Europe, folks coming from Israel, all moving right here to New York City. What often will be said to some of the VCs that I speak to, I was chatting with ABLE partners, for example, yesterday, is that the, what New York has going for it, even if it's not comparable in terms of the sheer scale of money being raised quite yet or deployed here, is diversity. And we have different industry groups here. It's interesting that a lot of the companies that you're backing seem to be in image generation, seem to be in sort of the, the advertising, creative space. I think of Runway, for example. Well, Runway, right, based here in New York, Lux partnered and led the series Seed in that company. They are working hand in hand with filmmakers and with producers right in their offices in New York City. And so they're working not just to, you know, add AI as a side thing to their workflows, but integrate it directly into the workflow. And they've seen a lot of success with that, working with both Fortune 500 companies and those filmmakers in production.